What does it take to invent a new design for a kid's shoe? Well, we're finding that out for you this morning. Yes, it's so interesting. Marty is live with the doctor who did this himself. Hello, Marty. Well, hello, Megan. Seeing it again. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Um, Dr. Uh, Jay LeBeau, uh, this is Mike Gugat and David Hirschfeld. I'm going to get to David and Mike in just a second. In 15 seconds, the bottom line is you've been a foot surgeon for almost three decades with the Orioles podiatrist, ran the Mercy Foot Center. Your resume is as long as an arm, but nobody had ever engineered a shoe for a baby's foot. No one had come up with a design that matches the developmental structure of a child's foot with the activity requirements of a child's foot. And if we don't get the kid's foot growing properly, some of you new parents watching, grandparents, the in 30, 40 years, it hits big. It hits big. It's those patients that I treated one at a time, one OR at a time, one problem at a time. Okay, so now we bring in Mike and David, David Hirschfeld, three generations in Baltimore in the sporting goods business. We're in the warehouse of Hollabird Sports on Plansky Highway. Mike, you had an amazing career at the highest level with Adidas and Mizuno, two small little tennis shoe companies you may have heard from. What made you hook up with this and just go all in? Is this that big? It is, and it, it was serendipitous. My wife was eight months pregnant when David phoned me because his friend, Dr. J, had an idea for kid shoes. And so we came and met here, and Dr. J and I had a conversation about it. And, and, we, and we're in a warehouse because Dr. J is retired. He doesn't have an office. Can we do it in your offices? My office is the warehouse, Hollywood Sports. David, we only have one minute left. You didn't need to do this. You have an established business. Why roll the dice? It just seemed like to be a fun proposition. It was different to be on the other side of the fence. Okay, so you've been doing this at a high level for years. Does this have a shot of going international? It does. We're, we're going to start at the cradle. We're going to design shoes all the way out to eight years old. And we already have international interest, our uh, sourcing partners in Canada. So we're, we're we just we're building a brand. So here goes another Baltimore business that's going to get a lot of note. Jay, I got to shake your hand. I asked you earlier, I'll, add, I'll just say it again. Why did no one design this shoe? I have no explanation. Even when we went to the last maker to get a, a one-year-old last, they gave me a miniature adult foot. No one had ever designed a shoe That's based around a one-year-old crazy. Foot. What's your website? It is jbirds.com, J-B-R-D-S.com. And it's online right now, no brick-and-mortar locations. That's why it looks like we're in a warehouse. I should, sure. I should say, you can order online and pick up here at Hollibird. All right, very good. David, thanks for hosting. Marty, Mike, thank you. good luck. Thank you. Jay, thank nicely you, done. Thank you. Throw it back to TV Hill. Amazing. They're so functional. Yes. And we also will give our fashion stamp of approval that right. they are adorable. Again, just in case anyone was wondering. For an adult line. That would yes. be lovely. Yes, yeah. we are ready for that.